Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is my eBay haul for Saturday, September 29th. On this day, I did go to a very a small like community yard sale, but I only ended up buying one thing. But before that, I went to this big church rummage sale in Princeton. I went to it for the first time last year. Uh, I did find good stuff last year, but the sale itself was just miserable because I didn't know how everything worked. Because at this particular one, you kind of have to pay as you go, and you don't know who's in charge of what section, and it was pouring down rain, and people were just miserable. So it was not the best experience of my life. But... This time, instead of having it in the spring, they had it in the fall for some reason. I think they were doing construction or something on the church. And it ended up being a gorgeous, gorgeous day. And this particular church, it's one of those ones that kind of, you know, they welcome everyone. They don't care if, you know, you're an alien from outer space. They, they don't care. Um, if you want to be there, then you're allowed to be there. And I think that's fantastic. So, um, but they're very kind of hippy dippy new age, you know, which really isn't my vibe, but, um, that's what they like. So that's fine. And <laughs> they have like a bake sale inside. They have a tent set up outside where they sell food and coffee and stuff like that. And then they even have once, I guess around 830 hits and there's a significant amount of people there. Then the band starts up. So they even have live music. It's the first summer sale I've ever been to where they have a band. <laughs> it's really, really odd. Um, so they were playing, and the only thing I really don't like about this rummage sale, other than the fact that the inside's confusing, but I figured that part out um, the last time I was there, is that they give you numbers, which is fantastic, but... Everyone starts to crowd the door around 20 minutes to 8 or 20 minutes to 9 and they don't force people to line up in number order and that just drives me crazy. Why give out numbers? It's That's pointless. And it was funny because I knew I was at a Princeton rummage sale <laughs> because I was trying to kind of get myself near all the people who were in the 40s because my number was 41. And so I'm kind of like looking over people's shoulders and looking at their numbers. And I found the woman who was ahead of me. And I found the gentleman who was like one or two behind me. So we're all kind of standing together. And this guy and his wife were behind the gentleman standing next to me. And they keep looking over this guy's shoulder. And I kept, I think they kept bumping into him. And finally they started whining about the fact that, you know, nobody's getting in number order and this is ridiculous and you know everyone's crowding the door so this gentleman next to me turns around and looks at him and he goes and what's your number and he's like well we're 62 and so the guy I guess he got fed up with that with them bumping into him and he turned around and he goes well my number is 42 and he goes so I, if I were you I would stop complaining about the numbers since you're 20 numbers behind me he goes, if you would simply, and he's like, sir, if you would simply comply with the directions, he's like, then it would save us all a, a lot of aggravation. <laughs> I just, I just started laughing to myself because I'm thinking, wow, <laughs> we are really at an, like, an intellectual rummage sale because every other rummage sale that I've been to, it's, it's not that uh, democratic, I guess. It's, it's more of a, you know, hey, you stupid moron, stop cutting the line and go to the back where you belong. Plus, you know, some curse words probably thrown in there along the way. Um, so it's not nearly as civilized <laughs> as, as this one was. But anyway, uh, I will stop the babbling and show you guys what I got because it's a lot. Um, and I really, there's a few things in here that I don't have a clue in the world what they're going to do. They might be sleepers. So let me start with the one thing I bought on the way home from the sale at the community um, garage sale I went to. 
there were a whole bunch of houses, like townhouses, and they had their stuff all outside down this one street. And the only thing that I could manage to find was this. This is a Melita Take Two dual travel mug coffee maker. And it's way too big to fit in the shot. But it's brand new in the box. I bought it for 10 bucks, and they're selling pretty consistently on eBay. Sorry guys, trying to straighten this out. Selling pretty consistently on eBay for about $50 plus shipping. So, um, and I'm hoping I can either find a box it fits right into, or I might just wrap it in brown mailing paper, who knows. But it's not that difficult to ship. So, um, they let us in at 9, and of course, you know, we're all kind of huddled around the doors. And I finally got in there and went back to the knickknack section first, uh, which also has the craft stuff mixed in there. Looking for cross stitch and all that stuff, like you guys know. And also the perfume and stuff is in that same section. Did not find one lick of perfume or health and beauty products at all, so I was kind of bummed about that. But um, I found one lonely little cross stitch kit. This is from M Mill Hill. It's Holiday 9 uh, Dashing Reindeer. It is complete. It's just open. Uh, and I paid 50 cents for that. I think I spent like, oh God, $60 at the sale. And I'll, I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, I usually don't spend nearly that much, but there's a reason why I did. Um, then the other couple things I bought in the craft section was this. This is a wool winder. It's from Royal. And you clamp it to your table, and then you can roll your yarn into balls. And I didn't really think anything of it when I got it. I was like, eh, yeah, yeah, okay. I got it because it was brand new. And turns out these sell pretty consistently for like 40 to 50 bucks a piece plus shipping. So I think I put mine up at auction for 50 with free shipping. So see what happens with that. And then I got another yarn related gizmo. This is a reeling machine from Japan. Uh, for spinning yarn or thread. It was five bucks and it's a confusing little contraption. Um, but unfortunately this thing only sells for about 15 plus shipping I think. So not great. But um, I paid 50 cents for the wool winder so you know it all works out in the end. Okay then from that section. They also had the office supply stuff in there, mixed in there too. So I got two HP cartridges, maybe only, you know, like five to eight bucks a pop on those. And I got this little tin box of colored pencils only because, you know, it's vintage, has this kind of art deco design on the front and all the pencils are in here and only one of them I think is used and it's hard as heck to get this little bugger open but I will try there we go so as you can see this is the only one used so hopefully at least 10 for that I think I paid uh, 25 cents for those and I think I paid 25 cents a piece for the HP cartridges yeah um, I paid a dollar total, I believe, for, yeah, for these little mice. I've sold these before, and they're from Germany. So I have the bride, the groom, and the little bridesmaid. I'm going to sell them all together, hopefully get at least 20 plus shipping on those. And then I got this fossil tin for a quarter because it has a a watch or a clock in the front of it. It's a clock tin. So um not sure if I should put a you know spend the money to put a battery in it. Probably just sell it as is. I think I have a couple more fossil tins downstairs floating around somewhere in the abyss 
<laughs> that is my eBay room. Oh my god, if you guys saw that right now, you would just faint dead away. It's bad. I have to go down there and do some serious organizing um, before, you know, the hoarders producers knock on my door. Um, however, I do know where most everything is, which is shocking, but I do. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Oh, I got this little guy for 50 cents. This is a little wooden Don Quixote figurine. I think part of his um, lance here is broken off, but that shouldn't make too much of a difference. And I bought him because it says Made in Poland and it has by B. Borowick and S. Beliniak. So, I don't know. Probably, hopefully, at least, at least 10 on that plus shipping. And. For a dollar, I got this little guy, this little two-headed dragon figurine. This is from Summit Collection, and it's dated 1998. Uh, I think I have this up for auction at like 20 with free shipping, and that can go first class. Uh, I shouldn't have a problem getting that. If I don't get it at auction, I'll roll it over into a buy it now. And I showed you guys one of these. Before, I'm trying to figure out what the heck I paid for it. Uh, hello? I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Paid 50 cents for this. This is another one of those wheatgrass house trinket boxes that I didn't realize before were so valuable. This one's pretty detailed and it's tiny. So I don't know how much of a difference that's going to make. I think I. Uh, sold my other one which is probably two or three times the size of this for 15 with free shipping so see what this one does then um, oh in the craft section I also found for two dollars I believe yes I found this set of metal earth Landmarks. These are those like die cut um, steel sheets that you pop together and they make um, little models. So I got Big Ben, Leaning Tower Pisa, Eiffel Tower, and One World Trade Center. It's brand new and sealed. I think I have this up for 25 or 30 of free shipping and it's light so that'll go first, first class too. In the office section, which was also part of the knickknack section, I got three calculators, all probably go for about 10 to 15 a piece. Um, I got a Radio Shack financial calculator. This student scientific calculator has the box and the instructions in it. And this, I think, is a Texas Instruments uh, TI LCD programmer. So, but I believe I paid, I paid 50 cents a piece. For two of them, and then a whopping ten cents for this one. I couldn't pass those up for that price. Um, in the toy section, I paid a dollar for this cute little puzzle box, shaped like a guitar. You pull this out, and then you slide the top off, and then you pull off the lid. And there's a really, really tiny box. I don't know what you could possibly fit in there. But I guess you could kind of fold up some money to stick it in there. But I thought that was cute. Hopefully get at least 10 plus free shipping on that. Then uh, in the book section, I uh, got some books for my daughter. And then I was really happy because I found a whole bunch more of these. I had bought, I think, 10 or 11 of these witch books from Disney at the book sale that I showed you guys a few videos ago um, where I bought you know whole sets of books and I had already taken pictures of this but I hadn't actually listed it yet I think I listed it but saved it in Octiva um, hadn't made it live yet and I found 15 more of them and I paid like four bucks and so now I have 20, no wait, no, 
I think I have 30 or 32 books. So I should be able to get probably 50 to 70 out of this set. So I'm very, very happy that I found those. Then I went to the kitchen section and I got, hold on, I gotta turn my book over. Oh, sorry. One more thing I forgot from the knickknack section was this. This is a reproduction of an Argolite totem pole from Canada. And down here, and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, it says BOMA, B O M A Canada, right down there. And it's a raven, a killer whale, and a beaver. And this is made from cast resin. I put this up on eBay for $20 with free first class shipping yesterday and it already sold so this is going to Arizona this afternoon. So I was surprised because they're not like huge sellers. Uh, which that that happens to me sometimes. Like I put a game up there the other day, like a little card game for 13 bucks with free shipping. Mine was not the cheapest one. Mine was not the only new one. I think there were like 440 some others on eBay and I sold it the day after I listed it. So I don't get it, but I'm happy about it. So I'm not going to complain. Um, okay. Continuing in the kitchen section or starting the kitchen section. Sorry. I got this little heart shaped dish because it said Motaheda on the back, which is the same company that made that Masonic picture I showed you guys. Um, a few videos back that I sold for like uh, 255 bucks. I'm not going to get that for this. I'll probably get maybe 10 to 15 plus shipping on that. But I did sell another dish just like this. It just had five extra hearts. It was a round dish and the hearts were a little smaller. So I know these kind of things definitely do sell. Then for another, I believe it was two dollars, I bought this children's plate and bowl set mainly because it said um, Rorstrand on the back from Sweden. So, got that. Should be able to get, I think, 20 to 30 plus shipping on that. I got one measly little mug for a quarter. It's this lovely green one. I hate green. <laughs> I really do. I'm just not a fan of green, but anyway. Um, this is from David and Goliath, and I saw that some of these had sold on eBay, so I picked it up. Hopefully 10 plus shipping on that. Then the other thing I got in the kitchen section, which is going to be kind of a pain in the butt to ship, but I should do pretty well in it. I think I paid two bucks for this. This is um, a tempered glass teapot with the infuser. It does not have the lid, but that should not be a problem. And it's one of the only ones I can find that actually has a warmer that comes with it. And this is from, I don't know if I can get this thing to focus on this because it's so tiny and there's such a glare. But this says Janair on the back. Yeah, that's not going to work guys. Sorry. But it's J-E- N-A-E-R and it's from oh goodness where is it from I think it's Scandinavian but I sold some mugs from them before and I did really well I think I paid three dollars for a set of six and I sold them for like fifty dollars so I'm hoping to get at least forty to fifty out of that plus shipping then also in the kitchen section I think these are fifty cents a piece 25 or 50 cents a piece. I got these two um, Molinillos, which I've purchased these before. These are Mexican hot chocolate stirrers, which I learned last year when I bought mine and realized, you know, had to educate myself on what the heck it was. But for those of you who missed that video, um, you basically, you're making your Mexican hot chocolate on the stove in a pot, and then you take this little gizmo and you put it between your hands and you do this and these little things spin around and stir up your hot chocolate. So that's what they do. These are not very detailed so I'm gonna sell them together 
maybe get like 10 or 15 plus shipping on them. The other one that I sold was very detailed, much nicer than these, and that one went at auction with multiple bids for like over 50 bucks. It was amazing. And of course, my daughter wanted to keep one of these. And I go, when are you going to make hot Mexican hot chocolate? And she's like, I can make Mexican hot chocolate. I'm like, I'm sure you could, but you'd make it once. You'd ruin the molinillo, and then, you know, I can't sell it. So I told her no. <laughs> There's a lot of things I'll let her keep or let her, let her play with for a while, and then I'll sell it, but not that. Um, in the Christmas section, I only found one item, and that was this because it said Fitz and Floyd on the bottom and it plays Nutcracker Sweet. This I think is the holiday Nutcracker music box. There's also another one with different colors and a different design on the drum and that is the Royal Nutcracker music box. So I don't have the box for this but I should still be able to get I think 30 to 40 plus shipping and I paid five for that. Um, okay, moving on, back to the kitchen section. I have three of these weird artsy glasses, and the design is called Vandalism. Um, these are 1997, I believe, from, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it says Pete Ritzenhoff down here at the bottom. He kind of sponsored all these glasses from different artists through the years. They're milk glasses. And this was actually his own design from 1997. Now I have the booklet, I have another piece of paperwork, and I have three of these glasses. I can't find this particular design anywhere on eBay. So um, I paid two for the three glasses. I'm hoping can get like 50 out of them plus shipping. We'll see. Um, okay. Couple more things and I swear I'm done. In the kitchen section, I also got this for, I don't remember if this was two. This was two. This is an uncommon goods, as you can see here. Pistachio pedestal. It's made of two tiered maple wood, or it's a two tiered maple wood dish with milk paint and a teak oil finish. Um, for those of you who don't know, Uncommon Goods, they send out a catalog. They have some cool stuff in there, but it's pretty pricey. So for two bucks, I couldn't pass this up. This should go with no problem for at least 30 plus shipping. And I'm running out of room on my counter. Okay, for four dollars, I bought this Dansk um, cast iron trivet. This is the script pattern. It says right there, you guys can see it. Um, brand spanking new in the box. I think another one that wasn't new sold for at least 40 bucks. So minimum of 40 on that, maybe a little more since it's new. Not too shabby for a trivet. Um, okay. And then um, the reason I spent $60 is because before the sale even started, I spent 30 bucks outside. They have an outside section right next to the band. Uh, where they sell like sporting goods and some of their bigger items, uh, not furniture, but just, you know, bigger size items, mostly sporting goods and stuff like that. And they let you shop that before they open the doors. So I was digging through a tin. All right, this is going to stop again. Please hold. Okay, and we're back. So I was digging through like this Rubbermaid tote and I found two of these cases that said Nikon on it. So opened it up and I don't really want to take these out because it takes a million years to get these back in here with the strap. But let's try and pull part of it out. Here we go. These are Nikon Monarch. Eh. There we go. Nikon Mon Monarch binoculars. They are 8 by 42 6.3 degrees and waterproof. I don't know what any of that means except for the waterproof. <laughs> um, but these looks like I can make about 135, 100 to 135 uh, on each pair. So I paid 15 bucks a piece. 
for each one of those pairs of binoculars and danced across the parking lot to my car and put them in there before the sale even started. So, cha-ching! I was very happy about that. Um, so then back into the um, knick-knack office supply section. I was kind of looking through the office supply stuff and I saw this fountain pen and this has a porcelain base and it's an Esterbrook fountain pen with a porcelain stand. It was 50 cents. Should only be able to get maybe 10 on that, but still not bad for 50 cents. And then right near where that was, I started rooting around in this little box and I found all of these pens. And I think there's a couple pencils in here too. But I found all of these little babies. So in here, and I'm not going to go through everything because that would bore the heck out of you guys. Um, and personally, I don't have a clue in the world what these are really worth yet. But I will definitely make my money back because for each one I spent five to ten cents a piece. And these are some good names. I have um, a Pelican fountain pen in here. I believe that's this one. I have a Golden Star Chinese fountain pen. I think I can get at least 20 for that. I have, there's a Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc in here somewhere. That's this one. With This is their logo, by the way. If this wants to focus, this little flower thing at the top. There we go. Um, so I got that one. I got Pelican Black with Gold Fountain Pen. I believe that's this one. I got two Esterbrook Fountain Pens, a copper and a green, which I think are these two. I got a Wall Oxford Fountain Pen, fa bleh, Wall Oxford Fountain Pen in Pearl, which I believe is this one. This ugly green pearl monstrosity. Um, a Lamy 50 brushed metal fountain pen from Germany. Come on, wakey wakey. There we go. Look at that one. I got a Schaefer Marble White Dot Fountain Pen, which I cannot get the top off of to save my life. So that one I might not be able to sell. Uh, then I got a Rot Ring Mechanical Pencil right here. And then this is an Auto Point Pencil with the box. And these usually have advertising on them somewhere. So I got all those for, what, less than a buck? And you guys know how pens are. I mean, some fountain pens can do amazing. So I have no idea what I have in my hands right here, but very, very happy. I just threw them all in the bag, and, you know, we'll see what happens when I get to listing them. Okay, and the last thing I bought there, I don't know what this is going to do, because it does not have the stand, and I don't know if it works. But... I bought it because you know, it's this weird little rainbow abstract kind of looking clock and I turned it over and it said um, Movado on the back and I was like oh okay and oh, where is it I'm trying to find it on my list here mm. where did, oh there it is um, this is the artist's name up here which is hard to read because it's his name over and over again superimposed on top of each other. But the name is Agam or Agam. It's A-G-A-M. So I looked this up and apparently this was part of a three-piece set. There was the clock, which has a pin on the bottom, which is supposed to stand in like this little base. There's a watch and there's something else. I can't remember. But for the whole set on eBay, I think there's people that want like $8,000. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me right now? So, I think I'm either going to take this to the auction house, the Rego auction house, the guys who are on the Antiques Roadshow, 
because um, they do an open thing, you know, a free thing every month. I might take it to them, or I just might take it to the jewelry store and have them put a battery in it and ask them if they know anything about it. I don't know what it's worth if it works and doesn't have the base. So if it doesn't work, I mean, I don't know. Regardless of whether it works or whether it doesn't work, and base or no base, I don't have a clue what this is worth, if anything at all. So fingers crossed. All right, and finally, I have two more things to show you guys from the consignment sale because I went back there uh, two days after I first shopped because it was half price day and I found two new things that I hadn't seen before because on Thursdays she lets people bring in restock items so sometimes when you go you see some things that you didn't see before unfortunately neither one of these things were marked uh, to be discounted at half price but that's okay uh, the first thing I got <laughs> and my husband again thought I was crazy for seven dollars, you can see right there, I bought this bag full of Harry Potter Lego instruction manuals. No Legos, just the instruction manuals. And he looked at me like I had three heads and said, why on earth would you buy that with no Legos? And I said, well, people sell the instruction manuals all the time. And I said, and there's like a good amount in here. Turns out there were 25 in here. I checked completed listings when I got home and someone sold 30 manuals, Harry Potter manuals, for $75. So I'm hoping I can at least get 50 out of this, which would make me very happy. And of course, prove him wrong yet again. And he's constantly shaking his head at me and going, I don't understand. <laughs> like, just stop questioning me and just go with it. Um, and then the other thing I bought, which is a little pricey, but definitely worth it, was this this was an Eve Saint Laurent gift set and it has sorry about the glare with this gold metallic paper Ugh, you guys are never gonna be able to see this okay anyway let me try and pull one of these things out of here there we go this is an opium gift set this is a big honking like I don't know 3.4 ounce bottle of perfume and then there are also uh, is a tube of shower gel and a tube of body lotion. I paid 30 for that. Just the perfume by itself, that size, goes for over 100 bucks. So, and I can't find a gift set like this one, so I'm hoping, I'm gonna say 130 to 150. We'll see, I'm probably gonna put that up at auction. So, keep you guys posted on that one. So that's it guys, there's a lot of what ifs in this haul. A lot of things I don't really know what they're worth yet. Um, so I will definitely keep you posted, but this one might be full of a lot of good sleeper items. We'll have to wait and see. So that's it, uh, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon, bye.